This is a new strum pattern for you, and we're going to be hitting a bass note and then the strum. You'll need your full chord for this, and we usually call this boom chuck. Boom is your bass note, your single note, and chuck is your strum. So boom, chuck, boom, chuck. When you're playing the G chord, your two bass notes are going to be the sixth string, and then you can use either the fourth string or the fifth string. I'm going to be using the fourth string. So I would play six strum, four strum, six strum, four strum. And you're going to be strumming all about the bottom four notes or so. You don't have to be real exact with it. In fact, if you're too exact with it, it, it ends up sounding that way and you want it to sound free. So don't worry about hitting all the notes when you do your strum. Just strum whatever comes out. This is where it's important to kind of get that flick motion with your wrist. Notice I've got some arm movement and then I've got some wrist movement here. And now when you play your C chord, um, you've got two different ways you can strum on this. You can either use bass notes of 5 and 6 or you can use bass, no bass notes of 5 and 4. If you use 5 and 6, um, then you're going to have to be moving your ring finger here. You can also use your pinky, but since we didn't talk about that, we're going to say that you can just move this so it would be 5, strum, 6, strum, 5, strum, 6, strum. And then if you don't want to rotate that finger, you can do 5, strum, When you go to your D chord, your bass notes are going to be four and five. So it would be four, strum, five, strum, four, strum, five, strum. So at this point, you'll need to make sure when you're going to your G chord and your C chord that your ring finger is the first finger down on those chords if you can't put them all down at once. That's your goal to get them all down at once. But if you can't, this is going to be your most important finger because it's the first one you're going to play. So when I'm playing my G chord, that's the six strum, four strum. When I go to C chord, this is the first finger I'm going to string I'm going to play. Five strum, six strum, or five strum, four strum. The first bass note that I'm playing is an open string, so I have a little bit of time to get the rest of my fingers down. So my open note's the fourth string. Four, strum, five, strum. So if you want to practice these, you can either take one bass note if you want and not rotate the bass chords, and then rotate them after you get used to changing. So for instance, if we did four beats on each one, you could do... speed that up and put it with a song.